Mad Max is coming back in a big way in 2015. The new movie was absolutely insane and the new game that's being launched on the 4th of September looks amazing. I'm so excited for it. So I've decided to do a video of my top 11 facts of Mad Max that you probably didn't know. Make sure you click on the cards on the top right hand side of this video for some sweet links. Like this video if you like some Mad Max in your face. And don't forget to subscribe. If there are any facts that I left out that you know that I don't know, drop them in the comments below. A lot of what George Miller, the director of the first Mad Max, learnt about car accidents was real and in person. Guess what? As a doctor. He acted in the first film and raised money to shoot the film on his own, it was essentially an indie production, working as an emergency doctor on the side. He took film classes in his spare time. <laughs> Miller didn't have any permits to shoot the first film, so it was all done guerrilla style and without permission. The cops helped out by blockading the roads because they were really just interested in the movie. In Mad Max 2 Road Warrior, Max's dog was selected from a pound and was scheduled to be put down the following day. Because of the loud noises on set, they used cotton wool in his ears to block out the sound. Mel Gibson only had 16 lines of dialogue in the whole movie. In Beyond Thunderdome, Tina Turner played Auntie Entity. Her name was actually never mentioned throughout the film, but was referred to in the film as Auntie the whole time. The jacket that Tom Hardy wears in the new film, the one in 2015, is the same one that Mel Gibson wore in the original trilogy. It's just a little bit worn, as you can imagine. Eve Ensler, the author of the Vagina Monologues, was consulted on the portrayal of woman in the film. Mad Max is a little bit crazy and out there, and maybe at times a little bit violent, but George Miller is also known for directing Babe, Pig in the City, Happy Feet, and Happy Feet 2. The original Mad Max game was supposed to have been created by ex-God of War 2 director Corey Barlog after leaving Sony Computer Entertainment. This was leaked in an interview with Miller in 2008, but the game was cancelled due to complications with the film's development and Barlog's departure to Crystal Dynamics. Just Cause was touted as an inspiration for the gameplay of the game alongside other open world post-apocalyptic games like Borderlands, Rage and Fallout. You know it's gonna be good. Although journalists reported that Mad Max in the game had an American accent during a preview event in 2013, it's been confirmed that he'll have an Australian accent for launch. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button below. Make sure that you subscribe for more gaming videos. Check out the cards. There's some cool links to other videos that I really want you to go check out. And if there's a fact about Mad Max that I left out of this video, drop it in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about it. And until the next video, don't do drugs. Stay in school. And high five a stranger. Adios.